Next, I would like to talk about color space. Um, this is one of those things that is kind of difficult to understand if no one's really ever talked about it before. And in my opinion, it's one of those things that most people who use Photoshop and haven't gone through an actual Photoshop class are usually lacking or they don't even consider exists. And it's one of those things that it's really important. And when you get a file from somebody who they haven't adjusted their color space or their color settings, it's very obvious to know that they haven't done that. Um, to get a good output, you need to have a good input. And so you could spend hours editing a file, but you're not even looking at it in the right light because what you're looking at doesn't match what the output device can achieve. And so color management is really important. And one of those steps towards good color management practices is to change your color space. If you go to the edit menu, so I'm in Photoshop. If you go to the edit menu, and scroll towards the bottom. There are color settings, assign profile, and convert to profile. If we go to the color settings, you'll see that there are, are lots of options and there's lots of words and it's kind of confusing. Um, but basically what you're saying is that if you were to um, if you were to open a file and it didn't match what you decided was a good setup, what setup would you want it to be? Right? Like if if you want it to be one setting and a file is given to you and it's not in that setting, do you want us to flag you and let you know? Do you want us to convert it to that file format, etc.? And so if you click on the settings drop down, you can see that there are presets that you can choose. And so the one that I recommend is North America Prepress 2. And if you click on that, all the settings that are in this dialog box will change to match the North America Prepress 2 presets. And if we zoom in here, you can see the working space, which is what is important, and on your project one, if you've already taken a look at project one, it'll say that every project that you submit in Art1280 should use the North American Prepress 2 workspace, and that's what this means. It means that if I open an RGB image, I want it to use Adobe RGB 1998. There are so many options you can choose, but the default would be Adobe RGB 1998. Um, the reason that Adobe RGB 1998 is preferred is because it has the largest color gamut out of all the RGBs that are available to us for our class. So if you chose Apple RGB, although it has a large color gamut, it is not as large as um, Adobe RGB 1998. And then when you choose CMYK, if you were to open an image in CMYK, and you were to say, I want to make sure that that is format formatted for my final output, um, if you choose the North American Prepress 2, it'll say U.S. Web Coded Swap. Um, those, it's an acronym, um, but it's standards for printing. And so you want swap standards. There's also like Grackle standards and things like that. And then you can see that um, there are default settings for gray and for spot. For right now, I'm really concerned with the RGB and CMYK. You can read through all of the other options, but those are the defaults that are important. And when you hit OK, it's going to set that for your Photoshop. And so if I was to open up another file, let's grab a random image here. This is a screenshot of the image I'm actually looking at. Um, I'll get a prompt and it will say, well, you're trying to open an image, but it doesn't match those preset settings. You said Adobe RGB and CMYK with this, the swap standards are what you want. And this image doesn't have that. What do you want to do? And so every time I open an image, I'm going to say, well, I want to convert the document to my workspace because I've decided that my workspace is the one I want to be working in. And when you hit OK, it'll open that image. It's kind of like, um, it's like a picture inside of a picture here because it's a screenshot of, of the screen that we're looking at. Um, but now it converted that image to have those settings. I've decided they're the settings I want to work within, and so all the images I open will be that. If you don't set that setting, you're going to lose points on every single project that you submit throughout the semester. And the easiest way to get like two and a half, three points on every project is to make that change now. And then every time you open up Photoshop, it's already the default.